Morning everyone, welcome to another video. This morning I've come to a local riverside location to do some bird photography. So yeah, I've been to this spot a few times before. Um, sorry about that. <laughs> I'll just start again, shall I? So I've been to this area before, it's pretty local to me, it's only about 15 minutes away from my home and I did a video earlier in the year where I was getting a sunset shot here and I was doing an experiment with negative space so I'll link that one up top now but I'm back here this morning, it's sunrise time but I'm not actually getting the sunrise I'm here to get some shots of birds so I've seen some swans and some ducks already but I'm going to be looking around in the trees and seeing what I can find and I'm also reliably informed by my dad that there's a cormorant that hangs around here so maybe we'll see that as well So today I'm using my Nikon D7500, not my Nikon Z7. And that's for a couple of reasons. One is that I've got a 70-300mm telephoto lens for this camera. And the other is that it's better in burst mode on the D7500. It'll take about 9 frames per second in a quick burst mode, whereas the Z7 is more about 5 frames a second. Because it's the larger image size, it just it's a bit slow. It's got to process more information with the larger images and it can't take as many quick photos. So uh, yeah, works better with the D7500. So there are quite a lot of little birds in the bushes either side of this lane here and they do keep fairly still, you can get fairly close to them before they fly away, however the problem is they're in between all the branches so it's just about getting in between the branches to find a nice clear view of the bird. Um, so I'm spending a bit of time up and down here just really slowly trying to get in between the branches. Um, I'm using shutter priority, shutter speed priority mode, so on a Nikon that's S on the dial and that just means I can set my shutter speed and then the camera will automatically compensate all the other settings um, such as aperture automatically so if it's too dark it'll give me a wider aperture if it's too bright it'll narrow the aperture and I've set my shutter speed to about 2000 which is very fast but with birds you know they can just suddenly fly off or uh, when they're still it's not too bad but yeah if they're flying around or if you're taking a shot of a still one and then it suddenly flies away. It's good to have that quick shutter speed just so you can capture it as it flies away.
Most of the shots I'm getting today are of birds sitting still. So I'm using my autofocus setting on AFS. That's, uh, that's good for still subjects. It'll focus on very still things. If they were moving around a lot, or if I was taking photos of birds that were flying, I'd change it to AFC, which is continuous. And that means while ever you hold your finger on the focus button, it'll continually refocus as you move. So that's good if the bird is flying to slightly towards you or away or any time it's going to go slightly out of focus, the camera will just refocus until you click the button. So uh, yeah, that can really help if you're taking a picture of moving subjects. Okay, I'm going to wrap up now. It's getting into late morning. Haven't seen many birds around for the last hour or so. And also the light is getting a bit harsh intermittently. It's coming out from behind the clouds. So uh, I think I've got some shots that I can use though. So I'm going to get back into Lightroom, have a look at those. Didn't see the cormorant, unfortunately. But we did get the heron earlier, so that's good. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to get back now, see what we've got. It was really good to get out this morning and get those bird shots. I haven't done wildlife for a while now, so uh, it made a really nice change. And the weather was pretty good, uh, it didn't rain, so that's always a bonus. And uh, there was a little bit of cloud in the sky, but to be honest that helped because it just softened all the light and just made sure there was no harsh shadows on the birds. Um, and overall, you know, they're not the best bird shots I've ever got, but they're certainly not the worst. I think the heron one was the best shot. Uh, I'm so glad I spotted that because I nearly didn't. I was um, I was just passing by and I just caught it out the side of my eye because uh, it was blending into the bank next to the river. Um, but it, it stayed really still. You know, it was a great subject. It, it, I think it saw me, but it stayed still and uh, while I took the shot, and that came out great. So really happy with that. And I've just got a few more shots to show you, so I'll put those in the video now. And that's it for this week. I'm trying to keep it a bit brief this week because I know it was quite a long one last week. Uh, so thanks a lot for watching. If you are new to the channel, why not subscribe? You can click the big red button down here or you can click on my face over here and then you'll keep up to date with all the videos I'm posting each week. There's a new one every Sunday morning at 10 a.m. UK time. So thanks again for watching and hopefully I'll see you for the next one. Bye for now.